Okay, today is going to be a little axle replacement going on here. I got some uh, really bad U joints uh, in my rear axles. A lot of slopping there going on. So, we're going to rip this uh, all apart and I'm going to replace the axle. And I'm going to show you what to do here. It's actually not too bad of a job. Um, so, first things first, we're going to remove this bolt, take this out so we can bring this arm up, get that all out of the way. Take this off, remove the, the whole hub area, and then hopefully everything should come out. So, got the 9 16 socket, and I'm going to grab a wrench here. There we go. And don't lose any parts. So, you got a washer down underneath here, two little rubber grommets. And keep in mind the orientation of that. Slip that off the side. That can probably stay there. You can remove this to get it out of the way because this all has to come up. I think this is a half inch. Pull that out. I had to get a my uh, backup gun here, so I got a different one. We're good to go. Uh, 9 16 so we're going to pull this out. Now before I pull this out, I'm going to take this, uh, this nut off in the bottom, it goes right to your hub. Alright, so this cotter pin is a little stubborn, so just taking a hammer, we're pulling that out. Then we'll loosen the nut. Look at that. I'm going to loosen that nut. Okay, and I used a, I believe it's an inch and an eighth to take this off. And there are two washers there. I keep, uh, keep that all intact, keep that in mind. I think there's a couple behind here too, so it slides right off. Yeah. Now I don't know who worked on this last, but somebody put a goofy looking bolt in there. That's not supposed to be there, so I'm gonna replace that. That was this side. This side is uh nine sixteenths. Pop this out. So now in between here are these little, um, I don't even know what you call them, like a spacer. I think they need to get pulled out. i pop this off. And it should pull out and then these need to come out, so I think what I did the one time is just yeah, they're a little stuck. I just kind of grabbed it, and pulled it. There we go. There, that all comes out, and there you have it. Now, depending what model you have, um, this is a 97 uh, Polaris 500. 
there's actually a bolt holding that in place way up here. Um, I think like the 9899s, they just pop off. There's a little clip on there. You just grab the shaft, you pull it hard, and it pulls out of the transmission. So I'm going to have to get um, a wrench. I think it's half inch, and unbolt that. And then this should all slide out. Okay, another good tip to let you guys know that um, I have uh, both the axles out of the transmission right now. Um, what I said earlier, there was a bolt on each side. Well, what happens is you take one side out and actually basically the one side bolts into the other. Um, important to know because uh, all of a sudden you put this side back in and you start taking this side out and you're wrenching on this bolt on this side and that side's going to come loose. So yeah, it's all uh, basically one whole piece that bolts together. So take one side off, leave that bolt loose, and you go to take the other side off like what I'm doing right now. There's nothing there holding it. You just pull it straight out and uh, you're ready to replace. The 97s, like I was saying, there's a bolt in here. Your splines go into the transmission. And um, so what I got here is uh, I got my wrench on, like I was saying before, and I was spinning it. You also have to put a wrench on the other axle and hold it the same time you're turning this out. Otherwise, it's kind of like a nut and bolt. Um, you got to hold one side to get the other side out. And uh, I can't do that while I'm holding the camera, so I'm just going to do it. I just wanted to show you guys, make sure you got a wrench on the other side of the axle when you're spinning that bolt out. All right, so I'll try to give you a good shot here. So we're going up the shaft, and there is a bolt right at the end of the shaft. And I am taking a 9 16 inch wrench, and I'm just turning it little by little. And I had to leave the one tire on the ground so this doesn't spin. And I'm just going little by little and it's slowly coming out. All right, that took a little bit. So now we got that bolt loose. Just pulls right out. And now, ooh, that's a nasty mess. I'm gonna clean that up. And uh, yeah, basically just do the uh, reverse of what I showed you. And while you're this far cleaning everything up, grease everything up, your grease Xerox. Uh, if you'd like to make, uh, if you'd like me to make a video of uh, me putting it back together, just yeah, drop me a line. If you got any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, please subscribe to my videos. I've got about 50 Polaris fixes on here. Yeah, like I said, there's not much to it. Just do the reverse of what I did, put everything back together, and you should be good to go. Thanks for watching.